What's up, people, and welcome to a, I don't know if I would call it a drama video, or a news video, or I saw something cool happen video, or what, because normally I don't do these many videos back to back to back like this, but I, I have to cover this, because I'm hoping they don't delete it. I'm, I sincerely hope that they don't back down, and they keep this response, but anyway, I'll, I'll get into that here in a second. So, there is a x account or twitter account whatever you want to call it i'm still going to call it twitter because that's what it is x is just well i mean it's easier to say but it, you know everybody's used to twitter you say twitter everybody knows what the fuck it is but anyway there is a account on there called boycott rogue trader which happens to be a ukrainian account that is very upset with the uh, upcoming 40k games because they are both russian studios allegedly I know Owlcat, Owlcat, who's making Road Trader, is a Russian uh, company. And I don't really know if Saber is a Russian company, but they're saying it is. I, I, I haven't confirmed that yet. Either way, this account is saying they're both Russian, therefore company bad, therefore do not buy the games. Which, I already bought the collector's edition of Road Trader, and I'm probably going to buy the collector's edition of Space Marine 2. In fact, I know I am. I could give a shit less about the politics. But anyway, this guy uh, got into a little spat with somebody on Twitter, X, whatever, and decided to go through the person's following or followers and saw that uh, Joy Toy follows this person. Now, I am not a fan of cancel culture tactics. I'm not a fan of going after sponsors. I'm not a fan of going after, oh, or what is it, wrong think? Where you're like, oh, you follow this person, therefore you must be a bad person too. I don't, I don't put any stock in that shit. I think it's scummy and stupid. Plain and simple. And as you can tell, I am a big fan of Joy Toy. I'm an even bigger fan of Joy Toy now. Because this guy tagged Joy Toy, and I'll put it up on screen here in a second so we can all look at this. And like I said, I hope they don't delete it because I'm, I am genuinely impressed by this, and I am happy that they did it. I don't care what your feelings are on the whole Russia Ukraine thing. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. If you're a fan of Warhammer, you're a fan of Warhammer. You can be Russian, Ukrainian, whatever. Now, of course, I understand the sentiments of a Ukrainian person not liking a Russian company. I'm not saying that that doesn't make sense because it does. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. Uh, so this guy up here says, hey, guess what? Still buying the game. To which the Boycott Rogue Trader account says, I wonder if Joy Toy Warhammer, which follows you, also supports your position regarding the genocide of Ukrainians. Genocide gets thrown out a lot nowadays, but that's neither here nor there. Joy Toy saw this and responded, I like a Warhammer post when it's cool. I follow someone... I follow someone when that Warhammer post is really cool. Be it a Joy Toy figure, art, minis, models, or even a nice story. I don't vet my followers because I don't judge. A free-thinking society is a free society. X is here for thought. It's not a real place. I don't doom scroll for negativity. I scroll for cool posts and pictures. I scroll for fun stories and experiences. I scroll for people who have bad days and Warhammer lifted them up. My follower list has one thing in common. Warhammer. We have one big thing in common, Warhammer. Now, of course, this response is not going to make those hardcore Ukrainian NAFO type people happy. And that's fine. You can't make everyone fucking happy. That's what people don't get nowadays. You're never going to make everyone happy. But what this post did, or what this response did, was make your average, normal, Warhammer fan happy. Why? Because they're staying out of it. They're not picking a side. You don't have to pick a side all the fucking time. You just don't. You can stay out of it and let other people that it's relevant to have their own opinions. So obviously, you know, the next account that responds to Joy Toy is a, another Ukrainian account. Is this a chat GBT with deep levels set to oof? To which Joy Toy responded, I needed to be clear so his servitor didn't misread my words. And they didn't like that very much. 
Yeah, my bad. No AI, however wonky, would consider this flaccid platitude clear. It wasn't a platitude. It was a very concise response that most companies would have a hell of a lot better time with people if they followed through like this. Stay out of it. Plain and simple. People want to try and drag you into shit you have nothing to do with or don't care about or just want to stay out of. This is the type of response you give. Stay relevant to the thing that people like about whatever it is that you do. But other than that, Joy Toy, you know, stuck to their guns. You see a bunch of people saying, you know, basically happy with what Joy Toy said. And I am perfectly happy with it. You know, like I said, I understand a Ukrainian account not liking the fact that somebody has their own opinions about Ukraine. I get it. I've got my own opinions about the whole thing, but guess what? I'm probably not going to go over them ever because one, it it has nothing to do with me as an American. And two, you're never going to make everybody happy. You're just not. I could say, oh, I support this thing, but this thing I don't like. And it, you, people would still be pissed. People would still be pissed off. So what can you do? The, the tactics of dragging companies in, I hate when people do that. I hate it. Same thing when people tag Warhammer. Whenever somebody says something they don't like, they tag the Warhammer account that says something like, oh, you know, is this the type of person that you want in your hobby? You think they give a shit? These people are making money. Again, it's the, it's the equivalent of going to the principal because you saw somebody running in the hall. That's what it is. And Joy Toy just handled it in the most... What, what's the word I'm looking for here? Unbiased, concise, and sh- just perfect. Perfect. I will happily support Joy Toy even harder now for that response. Because they stayed out of it. They said, we all like Warhammer. I like Warhammer. I don't care. And that's what people need to do. That's what companies need to do. That's what I do. I could get, uh, I've said it many, many times about this hobby. I don't care what your identity is. I don't care what your race is. I don't care what your gender is. I don't care about any of that. Do you like the hobby? And nine times out of ten, when you get into arguments with these people... It sounds like they fucking hate the hobby. It's like, why are you even here? But I digress. So I just wanted to cover this because I'm hoping that they don't get rid of it. And it's, I, I will fully support Joy Toy moving forward. That is, it's the best thing I've seen all day on the internet, honestly. And I'm glad that they're sticking to their guns and not trying to let <clears throat> and rather, they're not letting people drag them into shit that has nothing to do with them. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, go follow the Joy Toy Warhammer account because it's. I, I was gonna say it's based, but it's not even based. It's just it was a good response. So, till next time, goodbye. <laughs>